Navigators out of commission now. Use your own two feet. If you get a parking pass for level 22, the gate should open. Look around for a terminal. Ain't exactly what I call convenient. That's what they get for playing with dangerous toys. They're tightening security to buy some peace of mind. What matters is that nothing's stolen. Yeah, so in essence, yeah, that's a great introduction for Bato. Bato, by the way, is just like the most fun character in the whole show. I like literally tie. Okay, Standalone Complex Bato is tied with Standalone Complex Motoko for me in terms of like just the most fun characters because they're really good. Ah, I didn't kill it. Okay. So in terms of gameplay, uh, Motoko obviously has a lot more like uh, standard, I guess. You mean? Yep. I'll let them finish. And with that out of the way, yeah, no. Uh, the way it's described, and it definitely comes through a lot, is that Bato's levels are definitely a lot more uh, running gun. As in, like, there's a lot less of, like, uh, app uh, level maneuvering and more so just straight up, like, gunning down enemies. Probably because, you know, he, he is a big man, a so, uh, big cyborg dude, so it kind of, it definitely adds up, but more so definitely in gameplay because, like, he doesn't, I don't, I don't know if he can grab ledges the way Motoko can. I mean, maybe he can. I've just never tried it before. He does have a dodge roll. He does have, like, a dodge roll, but it's not the fucking giant flippy shit that you'll see uh, Kusanagi do, so there is definitely that. Uh, I think he has a higher grenade capacity, too. All right, let's see. I think there's a... Okay, so yeah. Uh, but, 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 but. This level also begins to exemplify one of the core issues with this game in that there's not nearly enough markers for progression. So the, the key idea right here is to actually progress upwards. Oh, hello. There we go. Uh, one of the key pro ideas for progression here is to pick up like a parking pass in order to go up the floors. Unfortunately, it doesn't mark where the fucking conduit is, so I'm pretty sure I've already walked right past it, if I'm not mistaken. Because <laughs> this has hung me up a little bit during the live streams as well on the, tw on the good old Twitch channel. I think it might be this guy. Sometimes they're highlighted by some lights on them, but it's not really enough to stick out too much. I think it's for... Okay, so this goes down. That goes up. Alright. Luckily, this level, this level story is a lot more ex uh, clear cut of what's going on. Bato's coming up from lower levels. Tachikomo's already coming in from, from the top levels. Fairly standard, standard pincer attack. Um, cut off all, all the enemies' means of escape. There we go. I gotta say though, like, oh, okay. Well, low time. Did not expect that. But yeah, one thing about a uh, cool thing that Kavio did for this game is that they really went to town on the level design. Some of it looks pretty decent. Oh, hello. Grenade launcher, ow. Come on, go down. Thank you. Well, I might as well use it. Just the AI in his own unit. Hacking keys are individually assigned. It should be easy going if we can use the enemy to our advantage. You'll have to play it by ear. That unfortunately is just kind of flavor text. Doesn't really mean too much for us. But one thing that this does, however, do is that then we can have some fun now. So grenade launchers. Unfortunately, familiar with shooting games, yeah, uh, they do suffer from some severe bullet drop. It's good. Nope. The server, where's that? Level 24. <laughs> Go figure, we're going there anyway. Alright, but also, yeah, I will definitely say Ishikawa's a good boy. He's cool. Uh, yeah, if you So, the guns you regularly have in this game don't really suffer from too much bullet drop, if any at all. Hey, boss man, if you're gonna come pick me up, make 
<laughs> ah. Well, yeah, it's fine. You're mo you're mostly gonna want to use the the grenade launcher to hit hit the sentries. Ah. Even then, I am taking a beating. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can actually see it pretty cl clearly with the uh, low health, can't you? Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll just drop this here. That was probably a bad idea because of. <laughs> I wish you could better calculate the bullet drop because I'll, because that would definitely make using the grenade launcher a lot easier, but as it stands, yeah, it's not easy to aim over guardrails. Sucks, but it is. Cool. Yeah, even this tune is just like really nice. Uh, I think I saw him also on Wikipedia, and this is a really cool thing, is that apparently production IG, the actual the actual studio behind Ghost in the Shell's talent complex is, well, it's all of Ghost in the Shell, I guess. They actually did help out with Kavya with the sound department. I think they did the music and the sound effects. <clears throat> so that's really sick. Uh, that means that there was definitely some love points in this game. I mean, I think that was the idea anyway. Also, yay, full health. It's fairly likely that there are surveillance cameras on level 23. See if you can enter through that terminal. Yeah. Hello. I'll take that as well. If you're doing some fan hunting in this game, I guess this playthrough can help you out a little bit, but it won't, it's not too much. Anyway, so yeah, you got a camera. And limited draw distance, funny enough. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't really do anything for you. I mean, you can scout these two dudes, but like, deep has to do shit. You can't really... Left stick doesn't really do anything. I mean, you can see them close up. Oh, hello. Never mind, you can actually see the camera itself if you go from certain angles. It doesn't really do you anything though, yeah. I feel like maybe that's supposed to be a turret, but yeah, it's whatever. Opening up. Nope, okay. Now, one other bit of advice I will definitely give. Shotguns are... I think shotguns might be busted in this game. I can't say for sure, because I'm only on my third playthrough, but I definitely feel like shotguns are a little stronger than they were meant to be. Okie dokie. But yeah, shotguns legitimately will, even on normal difficulty, I guess a lot of enemies will down, will down them in like one hit. Assuming you get an even spread, that is, of course. There we go. Okay, so this is really weird. You can get this hacking key, and there's this one dude over here. And like, you can hack him, but it doesn't, you stay in the system for like maybe 10 seconds. So I don't really know what the point of hacking him really is. Hang on. Not that one. Uh, b b b b right there. Barely got that. And it's like, okay, I got 10 seconds to play him, I guess. I mean, we can do that as a post. I'm not sure what the point of that is. Maybe it's to allow you to potentially not get cornered by or flanked by him. I don't know. Literally just for the best guess. Oh yeah, this movie music is bumping. Hmm. I can only hope that with the fact that I'm doing this live for the very first time, I'm gonna be able to decently edit this in post. But yeah, the music in this game is really nice. Hopefully you can uh, hear it. Uh, fuck. Are you? That's bad. That is very bad. Two whole fucking sniper right? Sni snipers right there, huh? Okay. Okay, we're going back, and we're taking the other way. <laughs> Sorry, that completely derailed my train of thought. Okay, so... Ah, uh, let's see, what's the... This way. This is the intended way to go forward, I want to say. Hey, buddy. Hi. This is great workout music? Yeah, it's not... Uh, yeah, I can see that. Anyway, so... We're still on the 24th floor, still not against those snipers just yet, but this is... Yeah, so you, you see that? I think I can watch out from, like, over here. Yep, dead. Dead. I can't tell what it is. I can't tell if the shotgun has, like, a like a very, like, 
sharp choke to it, like as in like it's funneled severely, so it's basically more like an assault rifle. Or or it's just a lot of pellets. I can't tell, but like legitimately even in end game, shotguns will one shot a lot of enemies. It's absolutely insane. But I'm running low ammo, so yeah, whatever. <laughs> Loyalties. Maybe I should address this sooner than later. Mmm. Yeah, I guess I'll talk about this now. Fuck it. Okay, so guns in this game are kind of weird. You saw on the weapon selection screen that there are 11 potential weapons you can pick up. Here's the thing. Um, there's no stats on any of these. I can only take educated guesses from the many playthroughs that I've had with this game as to what their general stats are. So, like, you know, the standard issue, like, bull pup rifle you have here, it's pretty decent. Uh, good... Good, good attack speed, decent. Uh, the SMGs you can pick up from the enemies, which is this looking thing, which I'll be honest, looks something more like Gears of War with a handle. I mean, like, okay, I got my mouse on screen. Like, look at this. <laughs> that looks like a Gears of War thing. It's got slightly higher attack power, I think, but if you compare it to spread, it's definitely got some more spread to it. So, that's something. Uh, let's see, the shotgun is a shotgun. Don't have to explain that one too much. Like, the. Assault Rifle ha has some pretty fucking good attack power to it, though. Yeah, that was some spread. Hang on. Oh, speaking of... Oh, it's like a body armor! Oh, that's another thing... That, another very classic uh, arena shooter thing. I'm talking like... Uh, oh, can't go in here. Okay. I'm talking like Doom, Quake, Halo 1 kind of thing with like the overshield. Is like, just... You could... I think this is no wait no you can do it with a kusanagi as well but you can just pick a body armor that's kind of neato it, ha it does help you more than you think especially in your first runs of this game because you can end up taking a lot of damage from enemies um i'm gonna say strip i have not tried this game on hard mode yet but thinking about it i've certainly been thinking about it but no so far just normal um the games are pretty difficult even on this difficulty on normal on late, much later on so I'm not sure if I could play hard mode but you know what it'd be fun fuck me well you can end the level right now if you want to that's kind of cool really even behind me where who gotta be mobile Now, I don't have to kill all these dudes. I can literally end the level right now, but, uh, eh, at this point, I'm having fun. Fuck it. So, two snipers there. The problem with the snipers is that th they can one-shot you, but the problem is, like, they definitely have, like, an auto-aim on them. And this is very evident later in a much later level, but, yeah, the snipers are assholes. Um, actually, I think was around here you can actually pick up a sniper. Yeah, from this guy. You can kill him, pick this up. I think it's called the Zebro. I'm not sure about it, actually. I think you can aim somewhere around here. Let me take a look. Ooh, this base, though. Good shit. Yep, there it is. Uh. Tee -hee. <laughs> yeah, That's the best way I can go about doing that. Oh, hello. Also... That the crouch in order to hit that? Oh, by the way, yeah, there is a crouch button. Uh, L3 I, I, is the input for it. And it's like, yeah, it certainly is there. Um, let me see. I think I'll have to go from the other side for, the, for the, uh, this guy. But check your corners. Always check your corners. Tee hee. All right, cool. Where the fuck is it? There you are. I'll say you can't no scope, but like, I don't know why you'd want to do that sometimes. <laughs> if you want to do it for the memes, by all means, go for it. But sometimes it's like, mm, yeah, you might want to just hold that. All right. I have confirmation on the number. That's the one, all right. And I guess his number will deliver again. Give him enough money, and the guy will deliver anything for anyone. From a single postcard to a kidnapped person. 
He was paid a pretty hefty sum two days ago. Try to follow the money trail. Already on it. Fua hired him. The money was deposited from a terminal in the Tohoku region. So they were trying to use a delivery service to ship misappropriated weapons. Open the cargo and we'll have our answer. Bato, take a look and see what's inside. Roger that. And the revolution is simultaneously hilarious and not worth it whatsoever. Alright. Also, see, uh, having Bato... Uh, let's... No. Having pods of Bulma on the screen also remind me of a thing that was brought up in the wiki is that apparently Section 9 hires a lot of people, ex-military, uh, ex-Yakuza, etc. Rice? <laughs> Very badly digitized Rice at that. Hey kids. Would you though? Just make sure you come quicker from now on. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's funny. Um, there's this one particular Tachikoma that uh, Bato like just overly spoils and pampers in Standalone Complex Season One, and it's hilarious because he literally treats like a dog. Like, not kidding about that. All right, so I think I played that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on. I, I want to make sure I'm on normal. It didn't accidentally select uh, hard mode. Because like sometimes when you're when you jump into these games, it's like it's very weird. I'll leave it at that. It's like sometimes, like when you're when you jump into continue, it'll start on like hard. Yeah, that's one of the rough things about Ghost of the Shell in general, is that if you slack on listening to details even for a second, you're going to miss a lot of stuff. Like, even on my third playthrough of this game, I still barely understand what the story is about. May it just be being slow, but details. Expectations. 